So anyway, someone came to this kiosk. Now, profound knowledge to be had it. And he asked him a question, What's your opinion on intoxicants? He said, Haram, forbidden. So immediately the person asking the question said, وَمَا وَجْهُ حُرْمَتِهِ وَهُوَ لَا يَزِيبُ عَنْ كَوْنِهِ ثَمَرًا وَمَا أَنْ غُلِيَ عَلَى النَّارِ وَكُلُّ ذَلِكَ مَضَى لَا شَيْءَ فِيهِ What's the wisdom of its impermissibility when it's no more than water, grape juice, diluted with some sugar added? That's it. Individually, the ingredients are wholesome. They're nutritional. You know, and, and that's how we've just been dragged in. We know what is the extent of obesity and how much it's killing the people. And then psychologically, we appease ourselves. So we ask for a double cheesy burger, I'll have a diet coke only. <laughs> I'm not on a diet, it's just give me a diet coke. A double cheesy burger, you've killed everything. So diet coke will do. I'm afraid I, I only have diet coke, sorry sir. And look at the double cheesy burger. I, I did this, this chuckle berries, I don't know if it's here. But anyway, it's, it's, it's an outlet that is open up there. A hundred gram burger. And it's a challenge if you can eat it. And then you're going for a diet coke. You know, where's the logic? Where are we heading? So anyway, it says, what's the wisdom? <coughs> Water, grape juice, sugar, individually all pure and wholesome. And you put it together and you said it's forbidden. Now today, my brother and my sister, you will be thrown and you'll be put in the hot seat. And you will be asked questions about your faith. I only can wish and pray and hope that you can ground and groom yourself with knowledge. That it can fortify you like it fortified this young boy. He said, أَفَرَرْتَ مِنْ قَوْلِكَ يَا دُبَّانْ أَمْ بَقِيَ لَدَيْكَ مَا تَقُولُهُ Are you done? Or do you want to ask more? He says, no, I'm done. Okay, you want to yell over the radio or you want to keep the phone up? He says, no, I'll yell over the radio, but put the phone down. Okay, listen. Look at this answer. He says, لَوْ أَخَدْتُ كَفَّمْ مِنْ مَا فَضَرَبْتُ كَبِهِ أَكَانِ يُجِحُ If I sprinkle water on your face, would it hurt you? He says, no. لو أخذت كفا من طراف فضربت كبيه أكان يوجهك. If I take sand and I scatter it on you, would it hurt you? No. لو أخذت كفا من طبن فضربت كبيه أكان يوجهك. If I take straw and I drop it on you, light straw, which has no weight, would it hurt you? No. This is right. Now listen. لو أخذت طراف ثم طرفت عليه الطب ثم صببت فوقه الماء ثم مزجتها مزجا ثم جعلت الكتلة في الشمس حتى يبزا. ثم ضربتك به أكان توجعك قال نعم وقد تقتلني I take that same water I mix it with sand and then I put straw in it I make it into a base I make it into a mold I put it in the sun till it hardens and it has the shape of a brick and then I blast you with it He says this would it hurt you? Hurt it could be fated and claim my life It's a hard by the shahnul khamr when alcohol is no different Alcohol is no different individually وَتَتَّقِذُونَ مِنْهُ سَكَرًا وَلِسْفًا حَسَنًا وَمِنْ ثَمَرَاتِ النَّخِيلِ وَالْأَعْنَابِ تَتَّقِذُونَ مِنْهُ سَكَرًا وَلِسْفًا حَسَنًا Allah says, indeed, from, from the grapes you can make wholesome provision. You can use it constructively and you can abuse it and it can become harmful.